Are you having trouble getting to that ball that was hit on the other side of the court and you're just missing it by a step or two? You're wondering if there's anything you can do to increase your speed while you're on the tennis court? Well, I'm Ginger Morrissey from Pinpoint Physical Therapy and we're gonna go over some, some tips today that might help you get to that ball. So, have you heard of interval training? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So say you're someone who does their strength training very religiously, two to three times a week. You're doing your long distance run three days a week for your cardiovascular training and you're getting in as much tennis as you can. That is fabulous. So I don't want you to stop any of that. Your strength training is a must for your tennis performance and your health and your cardiovascular is, is important for your heart health. So you have to continue those, but one thing you might work in your runs that will help you increase your speed is interval training. So the first start of your run, I want you to walk or jog just to warm up your muscles. And then at about that five minute point, then what you're gonna do next is, say you're along a road with mailboxes. You are going to jog for two mailboxes, and then you're going to just go out in a full on sprint for two mailboxes. And then I want you to walk for two mailboxes. And then again, you're gonna sprint for two mailboxes. And then you're going to jog again. So I want you to alternate your sprints with walking or jogging. So you think about tennis. Sometimes we're, we're sidestepping and then we have to go out into a full on sprint. Sometimes we're just moving slowly, trying to see where the ball's gonna go. And then we have to go into a full on sprint. So that's really, there's a lot of research out there that interval training will help you increase your speed. So I would recommend just working that in with your runs and you don't have to do that your full run. So do that for maybe half of your run and then just run the rest of your distance. But when you're running the long distance at that slower pace, that's great for your endurance training, but it's not helping your speed so much when you're playing tennis. So that's just one minor adjustment that you can make. I hope that's helpful. Please put in the comments below that uh, either you have tried it and how it went for you, or you're gonna work it into your next run. Have a great day. Hope to see you soon.